Okay folks, we're back. This is Hike Luke, the Outdoor Wilderness Wildlife Adventures. I just figured I'll uh, turn the camera on for one or two minutes and show you that uh, I'm off the beaten path and looking around all these woods, scouting for fat wood. And I just love that green moss. That color is my favorite color. That is just the way it like glows. It's so beautiful. It, okay, now I'm back to square one on a a few videos that I made back a few videos uh, this is where I first start the video I took you here to this little skeleton you can see that little skeleton that has nothing but fat wood that's the tree that it came out of which is rotted and we're just gonna keep moving along folks right, so here's another piece of fat wood right here I don't think I showed this one to you before you can see that skeleton look at that cluster of knots small little knots folks look at that and you can see as it's rotting away slowly rotting here's another cluster of uh, knots Take some good images of that look at that that is a beautiful sight to behold folks beautiful fat wood and that little knot right there Look at this. It's like a spooky. Oh, God, if you could see what I'm seeing, and uh, it's like being an old spooky forest. Look at that. Okay, folks, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut the camera down. I'm going to set up somewhere to start uh, harvesting some fat wood. This is Heckle the Outdoor Wilderness Wildlife Adventures. I will be back shortly. Okay, folks, this is Heikel with the Outdoor Wilderness Wildlife Adventures, and I want to share a cluster of knots with you. This is a beautiful piece of wood. As you can see, that's definitely fat wood in there, folks. Look at that, the richness of this. This is great. Look at that. This is a cluster of knots. Look at that. I cut into all of it on the sides just to uh, make sure this is the real thing, which it is. You can see that. The real thing, baby. Look at this beautiful. I'll just stand that up for you. Look at that cluster. Beautiful cluster. Look at that. What a cluster. Fat wood cluster, folks. Look at that. Now, if that's not a sight to behold, I don't know what is. If scouting for fat wood makes you excited, Hopefully this is doing, the, making you just as excited. Look at that beautiful Kodak picture right there, folks. Beautiful moment. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, there's so much fat wood out here to collect. I'm on a hunt for stuff like this. Knots, really super old wood that's been laying there for 100, 200 years. There's so much wood out there that has not been on Earth for a long time. And... Uh, that's what I'm out here for. This is what makes it worthwhile, folks. Right here. This little beautiful, beautiful little knot. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to shut the camera down and I'll get back to you shortly. Welcome back, folks, to the Outdoor Wilderness Wildlife Adventures, and I'm your host, Heike Lou. Okay, so what I want to show to you now, I have some dead pieces of. Uh, Pine wood, the skeleton portion of the tree, the inner core that I'm going to cut into. And I want to show you something. I want to show you the color, the deep uh, red color of this uh, pine wood. This is incredibly old, old pine wood. And I want to share this with you. I want to show that to the camera. Look how that red, red, amber color is. I'm going to show it to the camera right here. There we are. There we are. So what I'm going to do, got something really nice to show you. Now look at this, folks. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. That is incredible, folks. Incredible pieces of wood. I'm going to cut into these knots, and we're going to, I'm going to show you the riches of this fat wood that are in this part of the, the what they call the skeleton, this part of the uh, tree. The core. Here we are. 
me show that to you right there, folks. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is one incredible piece of wood right here, folks. Not to mention what I have right here. Here's another incredible piece of wood. Incredible piece of wood right here, folks. Look at that. do but I cut into these small they're small knots but they still could be used get my small saw out we're gonna begin cutting right here a lot of this wood is wet because it rained the last couple of days A little knots I'm taking off of here. Got a nice one right here. Attach it. Definitely has some serious value from there, folks. Wow, that's nice. Cut this down a little bit. Oh, that is. Incredible piece of fat wood right there, folks. I'm definitely going to cut into this right here. Got to see what we're going to make with the cut. Well, here's another one. What I want to do is get into this right here, folks. This is what I want. Right there. What I want to do is just cut that away. Start cutting into this. folks what a beautiful knot look at that these are small these are small little knots as you can see that concentrations of fat wood here okay we're gonna continue all right folks here we are back Look at that. Wow. This is a wow. Incredible piece. Like I said, folks, today's harvest of small knots that I'm working on. Probably could just break this off at this point. And that's what you get. Wow. Incredible. The weight. The weight of this knot. Pretty heavy. Look at that, folks. Okay, here we are. Incredible thing, folks. I have quite a collection right now, but I'm going to uh, cut a few more of these knots. Didn't take much to. Uh, get today. Didn't take a lot of effort getting a small harvest for today. This may be my last video of the 2019. Not sure yet. We still have a few more days left. And, uh, we'll see where, it where I take it from there. But we'll see what happens. I may come out with a one more video. I'm definitely going to make a follow-up video 
but some of the uh, wood that I harvest from my uh, previous videos. I'm going to cut that up and show you how beautiful that bat wood is and along with these knots too when I'm at the cutting table. So my next video may be processing fat wood, scouting stump adventures, scouting fat wood stump adventures, uh, processing fat wood. So, this is harvesting fat wood. Here we are. Wow, this is incredible folks. Even though these are small pieces, look at that. Look how rich that is folks. Richness of that fat wood. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Just this one piece here. So I'm gonna cut down a little bit. Definitely a uh, nice piece of fat wood there. Okay. Okay, here we are. Wow. Ooh -wee. Look at that. Incredible. This is what makes it worthwhile, especially when you have a old growth pine forest. You could harvest all the fat wood you could use. This is incredible, folks. I have another one here, right here. Incredible piece of wood. Another knot. Let me see. What is look at this? It doesn't get any better than this, folks. Just to show you, look at that. Look at the incredible color that deep amber color. I think I have just enough. More, I think I just, I think I got more than I can carry at this point, folks. These videos are going to become shorter and shorter at times. There's times when I'm going to make really short videos. Oh, this is such a beautiful piece right here. This may be my last piece that I cut. I'm not sure yet. But uh, this is beautiful right here. An incredible knot off of the skeleton of the uh, trunk, the trunk core of the tree. And these are the knots that come out into the branches. There we are. Little tap. Wow. The richness. I gotta cut this a little bit. Definitely want to share this with you folks. Gotta share this with you. The incredible piece of wood here. I just want to cut into this knot, basically all around. 
have ideas. I want to give you an idea how beautiful this wood is. This is an incredibly old piece of wood. This is what all these knots look like on the inside of what I just did here to show it to you. Very old piece of wood, folks. Here we are. I think I have enough wood for today. Uh, maybe with the exceptions of just one more piece. Let's see. Most certainly, I'm definitely gonna. Oh yes, look at that incredible piece of fabric. Clean this up just a little bit. This is incredibly old wood, folks. Old growth forest, pinewood forest, with lots of dead pine trees that's been laying here for at least 100, I would say, could be up to 200 years old. No one comes through here. This is off the beaten path, folks. You wouldn't even know if it's out here unless you walk through the woods and stumble. You could say stumble upon it. There's no road map or any type of map leading it to these places that you see the harvest in this uh, pine wood grove. Look at that. Another incredibly old piece of fine wood. Incredibly old piece of rock. Incredibly old piece of fine wood. Look at that folks. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful pieces of wood. Well, this is going to be a short video because I got more than I could handle right now. I got more than uh, I want, so what I'm going to do, let me see, cut into this on the side, see if this is worth taking home, looks like it, certainly does look like it folks, let me see, oh yeah, definitely, that's sap. All of this white stuff that's coming out that you can't really see it, that's definitely sad. That's worth taking home with me. I'm done. This is it. We're finished. Uh, I harvested a lot of the knots off of this uh, pine wood spine. And I got most of the knots off. I got a pile right there. What I'm going to do is show you my little collection I have. Wood stops, folks. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. That is a cluster of knots right here. And these are all the pieces that I just harvested. I'm going to make a nice little neat pile for you. What I may do is just start cutting some of this up again, cleaning it up before I take it. Because I want to uh, see how, show you how beautiful this wood is. And I don't mind uh, processing a little bit of getting the block off. Look at that. Oh boy. Okay.
this is incredibly beautiful old wood. That's one. Here's another one I didn't really quite clean up, so give it a, cut it a little bit to it. This is incredibly old wood folks, like I said before. This has to be, uh, I would definitely say, between 100 and 200 year old wood. This is very, very old uh, pine wood. This here, I started cutting into this. But I see it now, we're getting into uh, the resin part that's saturated with the resin, I'm getting into it now. Nice piece of wood. an incredibly old, very old wood. This one right here, this piece, wait to see the color of it. It doesn't take long to find anything, anything. It's depending on what you want to come out with. I could go to the other patch of woods from my previous video and I can get huge pieces from the damn pine trees. This is another different patch of woods, smaller, uh, the core, smaller knots, and that's fine with me. This is what I prefer getting today. My preference for today was getting these small knots. I will have a lot more videos coming up, and I'm going to show you some incredibly big pieces of fat wood. Trunks, like in my other video, I showed you all of the dead pine trees, the trunks, everything. Uh, this is not that video, folks. This is just harvesting small pieces of uh, pine wood, which are the small knots coming out of the uh, core of the trunk. Here we are. Got two more, a couple more pieces to go, folks. This is incredibly old wood, like I said, folks. This is beautiful wood. You could use fat wood for different type of projects. I use it to make this little, this little necklace. You could make a survival emergency fatwood necklaces with the uh, ferrocerium rod, striker, paracord. I got two pieces of fatwood around my neck, carried everywhere I go. Never leave home without it, folks. So many mosquitoes out here, folks. Let me tell you, mosquitoes are horrendous. It rained for a couple of days, and we're like it toward the end of December, but out in the south. Whew. Look at that! Wow, beautiful. Wait until you when I focus the camera on this. It's going to be incredible, folks. Totally incredible stuff. Yeah. I have one more piece to go. And this is a really nice piece. I'm just going to take my time and it up nice and easy.
silence is golden at this moment, folks. That's all I want to say. And uh, this is an incredibly old piece of wood and very, very beautiful. Look how deep that amber color is. Look at that. Here it is. Okay, folks, this is Heiko Luke for the Outdoor Wilderness Wildlife Adventures. And this is the Scouting Fatwoods Dump Adventures series that I have. And I believe this is volume 14. And this is some of the wood that I harvest today. And I'm showing you on this little camera here. You can see it. Close up. This is my harvest for today. I specialized in harvesting just small little old, very old knots. Okay, there's a lot you can do with this many different type of arts and craft projects also besides just using it for firewood. Okay folks, this is Heiko Loop the Outdoor Wilderness Wildlife Adventures. Until next time, be safe.